Robbie Madison and Jeremy Twitch Stenberg. We're looking at the jump. He didn't do that many runs at it. He only took two, like or, two three, or three yeah. runs and then he just hucked it. I was like, damn. The confidence he has when he's talking about a jump. He's like, oh yeah, I'll just take the degree out. I'm going to click third gear wide coming out of the tunnel. I'm going to land right at the perfect spot. My wife's always yelling at me. You don't have to beat him at this too. I'm like, yes, I do. But he's more of an asshole. Yeah, totally. I'm he's like more the of a nice pussy asshole. too. <laughs> See what I mean? It's already uh, getting to a good start. Yeah, we're, we're in. I'm at a gypsy. We kind of glossed over Berriman's hit yesterday. Yeah. And it's like, at, at the, he, once he was on the top of the ramp, I, I said to him, I was like, dude, you do it every fucking time. <laughs> it's true. Like, every time you go somewhere, every time I've been anywhere with him, he will find something so much gnarlier than everyone else. And it's like, he just has some kind of like magical feeling with the bike to just know what to do off every jump it seems like yeah he's tuned in he's well calibrated and he's yeah. like he, he believes in himself and he knows he can do like he'll go for stuff i'm like i'm good i'm not even gonna try that you know <laughs> yeah. so yeah but us back in the day we we're like yeah, he did it i'm doing it you but know yeah I mean? he's in his prime and he's crushing it. it's great to see i mean just sitting back watching i'm like i'm glad it's not my old ass out there anymore like yeah seeing him do it is like hell yeah he's like carrying that torch like a champion and just like seeing him like do that stuff like yesterday when we're looking at the jump he didn't do that many runs at it he only took two, like or, two three, or three yeah. runs and then he just hucked it i was like damn like and he was like if you hear me rev that's i'm going you know like to pump up the crowd and and like you said with with him being tuned in it's like it's so different to see i don't i don't think i don't think any one of us were ever that tuned in on our craft when we were doing it like how the the confidence he has when he's talking about a jump he's like oh yeah i'll just take the degree out i'm gonna click third gear wide coming out of the tunnel and I'm going to land right at the perfect spot. And he's so confident mm. in that where you're like, yeah, I believe you. Let's see you do it. And he just does it every single time. And it's crazy to, it's crazy to watch watch his mind work because a lot of people are like, oh, that dude's so stupid because he's always just like, he looks fried. But I'm like, dude's actually way smarter than you fucking think. Oh, and yesterday, so I got here right after McNiles had his crash. And then obviously that's a heavy situation. Like there's a fucking helicopter landing. And yep. it's like, that's everybody's friend. Like, that's a gnarly deal to, to go through, you know? And it's like, that could rattle people so hard. And he just came back. Like, I rolled back to the to the barn here with him. He's like, I'm going to do an ice bath. And then we'll get in the car. We'll go straight there. He said, I'm, and I'm just going to hit the, the 180 straight up. <laughs> and it's just like, I'm like, yeah, so... Like, you know you, how your friend just got flown out of here on a jump that was 40 <laughs> feet shorter than that one? Like, <laughs> yeah. is that, like, maybe a sign? But it just didn't, like... Again, he was calibrated. He's like, I think McNiles did this, this, and this. Yep. I'm going to do this, this, and this. And like that internal confidence. And again, like he, I was standing by the lip and he did those two or three runs. And then as he was on the lip of the last speed run, he, he yelled out to Wes and he was like, I'm going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just so casual and so calm. And there's just... He, it seems like he gets to a point where there's just not doubt in his mind in, yeah. a, in a way to, that other people might have. You have to get there because if you're going to have doubt, then you don't really deserve the, the, the floor at that point, you know, because, like, I mean, but back when I was doing freestyle jumps, like, the biggest jump I did was a 340-foot gap, you know, and I know it, I knew it was, like, fifth gear on it and it was fifth gear wide open. And, like, I did it the one day and then the next day come back and you got to hit that thing again. Winds change, everything's changed. It's life and death. Temperature, But everything. when you're confident... You, you don't like stop and assess the things everyone else is assessing and I think you know when you go to um, like when he's doing these different jumps you know he's just like yesterday was an early day not only did um, did uh, McNiles die but there was a car accident on the way back from the track and a lot of people were the first people there and saw a lot of so there was a lot of stuff if you had a weak mind that could yeah. make you think oh it's a cursed day or whatever but like everyone here is like they're headstrong they're tuned athletes Tyler's the most tuned in I've ever seen him right now so it's just cool to see him have such clarity such confidence just be in his zone tuned in and yeah it's like all these he, there's a million excuses or reasons why he could have like read between some BS and being like oh no today's not a good day or whatever yeah. like he just none of that was so that's when an athlete's firing so he's just like sharpened and it's good to watch you know and yeah. it's, like he proved it yesterday like he he pulled that jump and you know, case it rode out of it. Like that was a 
that was a leaning that if you weren't attuned yeah. in, like that could have messed you up and uh he regretted that now they've made some changes to it so if he goes to do it again it's going to even be safer so yeah it's cool to know that you know i think as far as the pressure goes the first one's always the gnarly one he's got that out of the way so i think the pressure's off a little bit it's like time to go have a good day but i think we're in for a quieter show tomorrow it's gonna be badass i i think the best show is gonna be more of like the demo on the other side because mm. like when we were sitting there watching those guys ride last night oh, there's was so, so many sick. fucking dope jumps like insane where i'm like dude that looks so sick yeah and i think that's the kind of place too where like everyone can shine too yeah like it sort of doesn't suit any one dude no. more than another one over there it's like a playground, playground for dirt bikes over there yeah, it flows really good. It's got a lot of elevation. That, yep. that shark fin, that, like, it goes down oh, off yeah. the top. Yeah, it's like, it's just a fun-looking jump, you know? Yeah. It's not like it's that tech, but it just looks like... It's not big, like... like I want to hit that thing, you know? Yeah. And then, but then even... I wouldn't mind staying down the bottom of the hill because that big hip jump that they're doing over the top of the hill, they're going so high, and we're, we're all standing from on top of the hill. It looks gnarly from there, but... I, I bet from down the bottom it looks gigantic. That lip looks like it's like thirty feet tall. Yeah, it's huge. Oh, we went up it in like the the side by side just to get as far as the side by side yeah. and go. And Before it would start flipping over. Yeah. It's yeah. like a wall. Yeah, and it's ba- it just looks like a vertical wall jump. Yeah. That is what how 30, 40 feet tall? I don't know how tall it is, but when I look up at it, I'm like this. Yeah. It's not like happening. It hurts for me. your neck. You know what <laughs> I mean? We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.